Large operating loans made by large agricultural banks led to a significant increase in farm lending in the third quarter of 2018. That according to the Kansas City Federal Reserve Bank. The total volume of non-real estate farm loans was more than 30 percent higher than a year ago. That's a sharp increase in the volume of loans exceeding $1 million was a primary contributor to the increase in non-real estate farm lending. In the third quarter, the volume of loans larger than a million dollars nearly doubled the accounted for almost 40 percent of total non-real estate lending period for that reporting time. Well, the world bankers expect the farmland prices will continue to decline. In the latest Creighton University Rural Main Street Index, Midwest lenders and average estimated that farmland prices declined by 4% over the past 12 months and expects farmland prices to fall another 3.2% over the next 12. In Illinois, lenders said more than ever, farmland values are extremely dependent upon quality and location. The European Union late last week agreed to allow negotiations with the U.S. to increase imports of U.S. beef to the European Union. The move could help ease some of the transatlantic trade tensions. And according to Reuters, this reports the EU is finding a multitude of beneficial solutions to our long-standing dispute over beef would be a major step forward in improving trade cooperation. The European Commission, which negotiated on behalf of the 28 EU nations, said it would open formal talks in the coming days to the increase increase in the U.S. share of an existing 45,000 metric ton quota. Japanese officials have stopped as travelers' luggage from China bound for Japan because pork in the suitcase that later tested positive for African swine fever. Japan's Agricultural Ministry announced the findings yesterday of sausage in a passenger's luggage that did test positive for the disease. I'm Susan Littlefield, the Rural Radio Network. You already know that choosing clean-burning American ethanol blends at the pump can reduce risks to human health. Well, during October, choosing blends of E15 to E85 can actually help fuel a cure for breast cancer. Because for every gallon you buy, your participating retailer will contribute three cents to breast cancer research at the Fred and Pamela Buffett Cancer Center. Visit FuelTheCure.Pink to find a participating American ethanol retailer near you. That's FuelTheCure.Pink.